Hello, hi, welcome. Um, as usual, we are doing a whole house clean with me and this room looks stunning, okay? We'll get into that in a minute. But first of all, uh, your girl can't do a lot of yapping. We'll get into yapping a bit later on, but oh my goodness, we're not going to do as much talking. Hopefully I'll put in like a few little songs just because as you can hear, I am sick again, darling. Okay, I am sick. So yeah. Anyway, make sure you've subscribed because this is like podcast time, your cleaning time. Let's do this. Yes, so as I was saying, this room looks stunning, babes. Okay, do you want to know why? Because my friend gave me one of her, like, lighting situations she has for her um, account that she runs. And the self-professed chef that did not come out very well at all um, over on TikTok and stuff. But apparently she didn't need this one. And it, oh my goodness, you would not even think that this is artificial lighting and you would not even tell that this is the worst room in my house for lighting okay normally it's so backlit and i'm like struggling with this tiny little like four watt bulb that they put in the dining room so anyway so grateful for that because now i have two lights and it just it's slaying at the moment okay it is giving so anyway i'm pretty sure the first time that i used it i don't know if i told you this last time but anyway the first time i like plugged it in and turned it on it was like already on the max setting because i was like you know i was an eager beaver okay and um well let's not like let's not muck around here i'm pretty sure i gave myself lasik eye surgery because i was looking tell me why i was looking directly at the light source okay babes uh, it sent me to the high heavens i won't lie pretty sure i saw jesus for like half a second then anyways i do apologize for the incredibly heavy breathing okay pretty much sound like my dog who has as always joined me i like the microphone's not even that good <coughs> oh my gosh i am so sorry the microphone is not that close to my face and like it feels like i'm darth vader right now or like wheezy from toy story you know what i'm talking about of course you know like we grew up on that stuff okay um anyway managed to get the dining room cleaned in record time okay the only thing that really slows me down well there's two things usually wiping down everything because there's a lot of glass and like a lot of flat large open surfaces 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 anyway yeah it's large open flat surfaces and then the lego the lego is constantly on my floor okay if you know you know my son is obsessed with lego and we do encourage this because it is incredible for fine motor skills and imagination so I don't mind picking it up. It's just that it manages to go everywhere because he loves the teeny tiny little pieces. And um, anyway, that's fine. I don't care. I got it all done and I was like, we are whizzing through this. And then I pretty much hit a block after that, like five seconds in. As you can see, I'm wearing like a different outfit. New day. Babes, new day. We gave up. We already gave up. But that is ADHD for you, okay? You're like, yes, queen, you're gonna do this. Like, you will slay. You will get it done. And then, like, literally two things happen. And then you're like, no, nope, can't be bothered. And pretty much throughout this entire video, it was like pushing a boulder up a hill, okay? It was just, I don't know, some weeks I can whiz through it and, you know, the kids are great and they don't mind playing by themselves for a bit. And then other weeks, it's like, mum, we need you and I want to be there for them. So, you know, especially now since I've been working three days a week. So three days a week of working and like being a mum and then trying to do this extra um, thing on the side. I have just, you know, it's not been easy. <laughs> like, let's be real. I'm sick and then I'm also so exhausted, babe. I slept for like almost four hours during the middle of the day on Saturday and I was just like even now you can hear I'm just out of breath I'm just oh I'm not cut out for this life okay my hubby is so annoying he's like babe I was just like that when I first started working too I was always sick I'm like what do you hold on what do you mean first started working okay like I know I've been down to casual work since I've had my kids for the last few years, but I've not stopped. I've worked every year, may have only been one or two shifts, but I haven't stopped, babe, don't you? Don't you come for me, boy. Anyway, we've moved on to the bathroom. This is our main bathroom, and, um, you know, it's pretty grody half the time. Like, there's just so much dust in here. For a place where we're supposed to be clean, 
like come on it's just so bad anyway i truly wish the owners had redone this bathroom because it could be quite something special like a new like egg bath or something in here it's just like a little cramped but we're blessed like honestly i'm just grateful to have a house in this economy so um anyway i decided to give it a quick clean i have my little caddy over there i've just been using my regular um microfiber cloth and my mimosa i forget what it's called the one i get from victoria's basement random as place i know anyway you tell me what products you love to use in the bathroom and whether you like cleaning your bathroom because honey i tell you this is the bane of my existence this cleaning situation i hate the bathroom and i always have even as a teenager when that was like my job of the house you could bet your bottom dollar i had an attitude about it, okay you won't be finding me cleaning this bathroom with a happy face no ma'am anyway we're using my least favorite air freshener i don't mind the brand i like the other scents they have there's a white one i think it's vanilla or coconut that smells good i don't know who i thought i was buying the green one it's just not me um anyway i just use it on my towels just to freshen them up a little bit because we do love a little good fresh i know they can get a little bit mildewy actually there's i'm laughing because the podcast that i was it was the jeff wittick and trisha paytas one there's two like one for each of their podcasts and you know what i have been loving me a little trish paytas she talks at the speed i like baby and for a long time like two three hours so we are loving it anyway i was saying there's someone i follow on youtube and she's like an interior interior organizer something like that and she changes her towel every single day she uses seven towels and a uh, baby i cannot i cannot even finish my sentence that is unjustified okay seven in a way i can't justify that kind of washing babe the mountains i already have and then i don't even have enough towels to do the seven and then if i miss a wash like no i think i have like six towels and those supposed to last us forever, okay? We go through maybe two towels a week, maybe each. Like, sometimes you just gotta throw that in the wash because it's, like, a little bit too... Uh, you know, it's just past its expiration date, okay? And it needs a little good soaky soak. Anyways, I just thought, oh, what a life to be living to have uh, 14 towels. So, I am lazy and I love to vacuum my, um bathroom floors i know it's not for everyone i just make sure there's no water on the floor because we don't want to like kill the dyson we love our dyson around here but just you know make it easier on yourself and i did the lazy way of mopping the floor i just threw some soap down on the floor and then just like wet the end of the mop head instead of like using the actual ringer thing because girl i was too lazy to pull that out and then empty it subsequently. There's no rules as to how you clean your house. So you can be as lazy as you want. You can vacuum your bathroom floors to save you time, honey. You can vacuum up food because it's my house and I don't care. Like it just, everyone has their own set of rules as to how they clean. I see a lot on TikTok where they're like, oh, clean as you go, put this back, like pick it up, make sure you don't put it down until it's in the right spot. I don't have time to do that, okay? I have two little children. I can't follow that rule. They're around me all the time. They'll be like, oh, go put the cups and plates away. I can't do that because one of my kids wants me to sit with them for five minutes. I'm going to sit with them. They're my priority. I'll come back and clean this. It may not be straight away like some people want, but I'll get there. And then they'll have their beautiful clean house again. A right, girl is getting worked up here because of the cleaning police on TikTok. But basically all I'm saying is, you know, everyone is different. Don't try and conform anyone to your style. You've got your own um and you know my kids are lucky they've got a clean house they're fed their clothes are clean they've got toys to play with they're lucky okay and i hope they know that <laughs> hopefully anyway um i do apologize i can see the lighting keeps changing between like warm and then like a cool tone i got a lens for my camera which we haven't had for quite some time darling i mean quite some time and you know i forgot that it likes to do a bit more of a cool tone on the on the camera i don't know why anyway on my phone it's like a little more colorful a little more saturated i think is the word and since i've been using my phone for so long i'm used to that and then when i was looking on my camera footage i was like oh this is a bit dull and like a bit dark so i tried editing it in the video editing software that i've been using and it just yeah when i went to like save it I don't know something happened and like now it like flicks in between being cool tone and like 
bland and then like saturated and warm and stuff so i apologize that hopefully we can get back on track i just need to make a preset or something for myself on there and then you know hopefully it'll be sorted out but you know what i do enjoy my camera i just need to buy myself a proper sd card i only have 32 gig and babes that's not enough that's like 40 minutes 50 minutes of footage and your girl can easily do like three hours easily so a 60 gig is what is needed okay and i know there is bigger like 120 but i heard some bad reviews that like the footage can get warped on the 120 i don't know why but um so i'll probably just get another 60 and then i'll have what's that 120 gigs in total that should be enough hopefully so yeah i need to do that but they're like 35 bucks man actually while we're here can someone explain to me why memory cards cost so much money like 30 bucks for 60 gigs i don't understand it like what do they use to make it cost more money the bigger it costs like i understand the logic behind it but i don't understand what they use that makes it go up by so much like how does 60 gigs cost 30 dollars like why does it not cost 10 or 15 it it's not like at the cloud or google photos which i pay for both because oh, don't even get me started yes i pay for both i i just need to sort it out i think i pay like five dollars a month from apple and then i'm paying like five dollars a month for google for the same photos to be backed up i don't understand it either oh it's one of those things i'm like i don't see the charge on my phone it disappears under everything else so i don't actually see the money leave my account but um yeah i don't know like what if i you know like what if apple has photos that my google photos doesn't have and then i delete it and then like three photos of a fuzzy picture are gone that i always wanted and never looked at so yeah anyways that's why i have it but one day one day we'll sort that out anyway we've been using this fireplace a ton like i mean literally i don't think we've turned the heater on the aircon on whatever you want to call it once this winter it's kept the house so nice and warm and honestly i've been loving it okay normally i hate winter just because um yeah i'm freezing cold and i hate like getting out of bed getting out from under my sheets you know the story of basically living in an australian home okay in winter it's horrific so anyway ben pretty much deemed himself chief fire maker here in this house because you know He's had to make one almost every day at night time just to keep us warm once the kids have gone to bed. But it does make quite a mess as you can see. But oh my gosh, it's so toasty and it smells so good. It's just so nice to have like a whole house It'd be nice and warm. Whereas when it's normally just the heater, it does only does one room and it doesn't quite reach the rest of the house. Anyway, glad to have that this winter. As you can see, my living room is a mess. First of all, I needed to get the covers back on my white couch. It's a disaster as always. I need to wash the entire thing, but I haven't been able to do that. I just don't have the time at the moment. And there's a lot of stains on it, okay? And we're just pretending. We just take off the removable stuff that we can do at home, like the cushion covers and like the sheets that I use for the base cushion or the seat cushion, just so that it can somewhat look like it's clean, even though it's not. <laughs> just like we're trying to fool people over here. Like I said before, we've been doing bits and pieces. Like, so I had to film this after work. I was exhausted. I was smashed, honey. It was a long day, but I just wanted to get a couple of rooms done so that it didn't have to pile all into one day for me and I could start editing on little bits and pieces. So I worked on my son's room, basically just got the... I think I just had to vacuum the floor and then do this, put all the toys out, some fresh toys for them so that they could be interested, especially over the weekend period when they're at home. They can enjoy some new toys and have something to do rather than screen time because we do try to limit that in the house. Just, you know, just finds that it works better when we don't have as much screen time. Anyway, as you can see, new day again. I don't know, babes. Every time I change an outfit, just know it's probably a different day unless my clothes were destroyed. So anyway, I was thinking actually after I filmed that part of um, the video after my work, I was like, I honestly don't know how single mums, single dads, whatever, do it. Like, I don't know how you look after your kid, go to work, 
do the housework, do everything and not have a support system. If I mean, some do, but some don't. And it's just like, oh my God, I can't do this and I'm not a single parent. So just, just know hands down, you win. You win at life, okay? You've got this. Just the thought of like basically having to do everything by yourself and making sure the ship runs and just everything, you know, clothes, food, you know, house, bills, everything. Just incredible. Anyway, I basically had to finish off the room. I don't even know what I did in the other shot when I was doing after work. Did we even see? Anyway. Okay, I went back and watched and like it was only like 30 seconds. So maybe I filmed something else in that outfit later on. So just know that that was probably the same day if you see that outfit. And yes, if you're wondering, I am consistently inconsistent throughout all areas of my life. <laughs> okay, I think I've yapped enough. <gasps> Oh wait, I haven't talked about the app. We'll get to that, okay? Let me just play a song, give you a little bit of break. A little bit of break? A little bit of a break. I know you're done with me, so we'll come back. <laughs> Okay, as promised, we're going to get into the yapping, okay? I've mentioned it so many times now. Okay, so last video, I talked to you about the Clinton Kane Brooke Schofield drama. Like, for some reason, it, like, just arised on TikTok. And she was basically doing, like, a Who the F Did I Marry series, like that other chick. Oh, my goodness. Just, okay, the drama that has unfolded, right? She did her part was like 14 parts series i don't know it was only a couple minutes long but each one was like a different part of their 
dating life, whatever. I'm not doing a great job of this. Anyway, he comes back and he does his bit, right? I don't know where his PR team is, babes. Wake up, stop your boy. He is just messing about. But maybe this is going to do something for his music career because apparently it's down the dunny. Well, he comes back and he starts saying like his 14 part series or whatever. But he's like, who the F did I not marry but dated? Something like that. That's what he called it. He is, oh my gosh, this boy. This boy is like, what? what's the word? He's not picky. He's, oh my goodness. He is so petty. That's the word. So petty, right? So he does all that. And he starts pulling out details. He's like, she's lying about this. She's lying about that. It Blah, 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 blah. But everything he's pointing out and saying about her lies, excuse me, dog. Anyway, everything he's pointing out about her lies, in quotation marks, um, is things people don't care about, right? Like, it's not a big deal. It's NBD. Literally, I think one of the things he pointed out was, like, that he, in fact, didn't get pulled over on the way to Joshua Tree. It was on the way back from Joshua Tree. And then another one he pointed out was that the hotel didn't cost a thousand dollars; it cost six hundred dollars. And then there was a third one. Um, think about when, how long they dated or whatever. You know what? Mm. It just I can't with this man. Okay, like he can't take ownership. Oh, actually, I lie. He does take. He has one labeled accountability. Oh my god, like, he was like, oh, my PR team messed up. Maybe that was my fault too. I was like, what do you mean maybe it's your fault? Babes, it is your fault. This whole mess is your fault because you can't keep your lies straight. Oh, and there was one where he's like, you know, she lied about me saying that she has more listeners to her cancelled podcast than I do to my entire music industry or whatever it was, like, in one month, right? In one month. And he goes and pulls this little stat out of his most famous song in the most popular month. Like, that is not fair. You have to do a consistent thing. Every single month, you do not have the same amount of listeners as that cancelled podcast is bringing in. Like, let's be real, honey. Take a reality check. Okay, anyway, let's move on from that because I could sit all day talking about that and the tea is piping hot. I cannot wait to see what the next update is going to be. But anyway, I poured a bunch of vinegar down my toilet because apparently that's supposed to help with the recycled water problem that I have, which is basically the brown stains around the top of the toilet and the brown stains that are like at the base, like where the water sits. We use a lot of recycled water in Australia, just, you know, gotta be good like that with the environment. And anyway, yeah, so it does leave stains and I just have never known how to do it properly. Even with other cleaning products like gels and whatever for the toilet bowl, just doesn't quite work on the recycled water. So if you have any tips for that, let a girl know. While we're talking about toilets, I was watching someone in America do a, like a whole house deep clean with me and she was filming her clean the toilets. Why? Someone tell me why there is an entire fish bowl in the toilet in America. Is that a common thing? Like, the splashback would be unreal. Do they use recycled water for toilets in America? We have to find that out because I feel like that is a bit of a waste of water. I mean, they probably do. It feels like it's standard. All right, my throat is so scratchy. I need to put on a song. Just give it a second to calm down. <laughs> Feeling in my bones, I could feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough to make something right and make up for what I. Surprised by you, won't 
want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should. I wanna get high on caught by surprise by you. Want you to make. jackpot okay we got tons and tons of stuff all for 100 percent off okay guys i know insane yes you heard me right everything must go 100 percent off closing down sale um anyway my friend said she had some shoes to give to me for my daughter because my daughter is still the same size shoe as some of this stuff and i was like yeah i'll take it and then anyway she gave me this giant bag of stuff which she did not need to do it's very lovely i'm like <laughs> stop yes i'll take free stuff first off we've got these cute little shorts i think i saw actually these they were like six to twelve months but they're quite stretchy so maybe she'll be able to fit it otherwise i will donate them because i actually have found someone who can take all my girls baby clothes holding on to it i wanted to just give it to someone rather than donate um so yeah if not i'll just give it to them got this blue sky coat i mean blue land blue blue sky kids land never heard of the company before but it's cute so she might only get this winter out of that one yeah maybe she might be able to still fit it because she does have a couple of one size one stuff i know we'll squeeze her into it <laughs> just a little bit just make it one season we've got this fancy schmancy baby guess um onesie i didn't even know there was such thing as a baby guess that is very fancy We've got Minnie Mouse. I know her daughter is obsessed with Minnie Mouse. And actually, it's made my daughter obsessed. We actually do need more onesies, so that's really good. <laughs> my daughter could not have cared less until their daughter's second birthday party. And I was like, oh, all of a sudden now you've got this obsession, huh? This is size one, but it looks quite stretchy. So she might be able to wear that. That probably won't fit her because... It's a size one with a clip at the bottom. Really cute. Yeah, this is good. This is good. She'll be able to use these. We need a lot more winter pajamas. She literally has these giant teddy bear outfits that are so warm and then like summer stuff. So actually these are going to be great. I have these little shorts. Christmas top. Oh, it's size two. This is so cute. Let's hope she can size one. Mm, it's stretchy. Maybe we'll see if this fits. Anyway, I'm going to really try and make that one fit because that's so cute. Okay, so we have this exact same pajama top in... I think it's pajama top in... What's it called? P. 
pink. So they, she is going to be obsessed. She's going to freak out that she has a, another one of these bunny tops. Um, another pair of those little shorts. What's this? Oh, this is so cute. So, my voice. Size one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hope she fits in this because I'd like to see her even in just like one cute little photo with 12 to 18 months. This might fit. If it's not, oh yeah, it could still fit. Oh, she loves that yes. one. Is it cute? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, these are all 24. It's this is going to be really good. It's a card. It's for me. Yeah, it's for you. You wear it? You want to wear it? Okay. Okay, so that peach unicorn um, dress thingy overall thingy fits she's already oh this is so cute where's this from um this is so cute it's from me 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 this is not their kid by the way so don't be like a stalker about it so maybe they got this thrifted slay queen that is like that is a th what do i call it the find of the century what do I call it? I don't know. But that's a really good one. Hey, tell me how much you got it for. No. Uh, yes, you can wear it. Okay, she's obsessed. <laughs> the outfit she's got going on at the moment is like one for the fashion books. Ooh, this is a sleigh. Um, these ones on her, but it's too small. These Carter's ones. So I'm making your own video? Yeah, yeah, money. So, okay, um, we've got these cutie pie shoes. I think these will fit. They look big enough. And I know this was her daughter's. One of That's her daughter's. My that was my daughter's favorite shoes, I think, because I often saw her wearing them. Mm. Hopefully they fit, because she doesn't really have much like that. Got some of these. She's going to like that. Maybe I won't put it on the we got these. I don't know if these are going to fit. Ow. Oh, no, it's a six. It'll fit. It's fine. Um, yeah, so Ow. thank you to them for giving me all of this because the girl loves a free thrift haul, okay? We love it. For the first time in a while, I've actually been thrifting and bought something. I've been going, but I haven't actually gotten a lot. Anyway, I found this gold peeler, and I... Look, it was more of a want than a need. I don't need a gold peeler. But I don't know, I couldn't pass it up. It was so cute. It was only two bucks as well. And then I also got this oil canister glass jar thing. Um, We used to have one and it was gorgeous. It was by Aventi or something, which I got from Victoria's basement. But they just kept breaking because they were thinner glass. Like we would just drop them and they'd shatter. And I actually dropped that glass vessel and... It didn't break so i was like this is gonna be good okay and then i picked up sorry my voice is so scratchy like my throat i picked up this top and it's the brand crop shop boutique i'd never heard of it it was nine dollars and it smelled so good by the way i was like i don't know what perfume this is but it's so nice a let me be you that smells delicious so anyway i got it because it was this cute white corduroy top and it's so nice for summer summer here winter because some days it'll be like freezing and you need like a full-on parka situation and sometimes you just need a long sleeve top so that's gonna be great i then got this four dollar fold out tub i just saw carissa cleans all she has a fold out laundry basket and i was like this is gonna be good just even for putting my like plates and whatever i'm gathering around from the house basically rubbish washing whatever you name it it's good um, and then I got this basket for $12 for our bedroom. We need a proper tall laundry basket. We used to have one. I can't remember what happened to it, but whatever it happened, it don't exist no more. So we got a new one. 12 bucks, Stinking good price or something like this. This would easily be $40. I just had to wash the bottom, which I did to, with a little bit of laundry soap and the hose. And I was like, this is great. Anyway, if you're still here, there's a little bit of a vlog. I did some gardening the other day and I don't know. I was going to vlog it all, and then I was like, eh, I don't have the energy. So basically, I've ripped up this side of my garden just to add some lavender, because eventually I want to get some bees in here. 
make my own honey, you know, that kind of thing. And then I just had to put lavender in because we don't have a ton of flowers. And I don't know, I just thought maybe you'd like to see it. Haven't vlogged in a while and I just thought this would be nice to watch. So basically I've put in five winter lace lavender plants from flower power they've been kind of expensive i'm not gonna lie they're all in the ground and they look stunning but I basically i had to rip up well i had to make like this long tunnel basically like a trench kind of thing um but piece by piece because i haven't been buying the lavender all in one go so once i had done that which it kind of was hard because there was rocks underneath once i'd done that i'd laid down the garden weed mat i forgot to put holes in this one but usually i just pop a little few little holes in there just for better drainage i literally had just enough left from a previous project to be able to do my five lavender plants i was like this is from god himself this was supposed to work out so anyway i've been putting in this fresh soil i've just been buying it from buddings it's the most expensive way to do it definitely don't do it that way but yeah I've just been doing that because it is a nice soil and the other soil is horrible. Anyway, I came back later the next day just to finish it off with more soil because I needed an extra bag. I didn't have enough. But look at those roots, baby. It was desperate for getting out of there. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. It looks cute and I'll see you in another video maybe next week.